Welcome back to the channel. I'm here in the Fiori Launchpad and to upload customer open items we will navigate to the application called Upload Customer Open Items. Select this application over here. Now you can see the start screen to upload our customer open items. There are several different buttons that we could press. However, we will first download the template. So click on Download Template. Over here you can select the template language and you can see the format is already set to an MS Excel workbook. So click on Download Template and once the download is finished, open the Excel file. We will now go through the most important columns from left to right. First of all, you need to insert a document sequence number. This is not the document number that will be posted into the system. This is just to separate different customer open items as you are able to upload many open items at once. So they are distinguished by this number. Let's say the first item will get the number 1, the second the number 2 and so on. For now we will just upload one single open item. So I will delete the lines with the numbers 2 and 3 for now. Then we must insert our company code and we need to choose whether we want to post an invoice for our customer or a credit memo. We will select invoice. So we insert a 1. Then we state the customer, which is our business partner number. By the way, I have a whole playlist about the business partner. I will leave you a link in the description of this video. We can insert a reference. Then we must include a document date as well as a posting date and a document type. The standard document type for a customer invoice would be DR. Let's go a bit to the right. We will include a transaction currency, let's say Euro for now, and a gross invoice amount. I will insert 1100. Please keep this number in mind. Let's go further to the right. We could insert a business place. And before we come here to the columns DD and ongoing, you can see that there are several columns hidden. So you can just mark the columns and then unhide them. Now many more columns are being displayed. However, all of those columns are optional. So for instance, we could insert a payment block could insert cash information and payment methods as you can see as well as the partner bank type also quite important if we have multiple banks in the business partner master we can include our terms of payment and also if we go further to the right we can type in some reference information so free text fields as well as credit control information if the credit management is active in our system and also the tax reporting as well as the tax fulfillment and the tax date. So far so good. Let's go a bit further to the right. You could also include information for a CPD customer. So a customer you are only interacting with once where you would now state the address information and so on. And by the way, I have a whole video explaining you more about the CPD business partner, including all the customizing. I will leave the link in the description of this one. For now, this is fine. Let's go further to the right up until we can see our GL account line item information. I will now include a company code again and then a revenue account. We could include an item tax, but this is optional. And then I will insert here that our position will be a credit. The debit we already filled, cause the debit is our customer position and the revenue position is our credit. Now I will include a gross invoice amount of 1000. As you recall in the header section, of this Excel file, I included a gross amount of 1100. So there's a difference of 100 as of now. This is particularly important when we upload the line item in a minute. Tax code is an output text. I will just say a zero for now. And then we must assign our line item to a controlling object. So I will just include my internal order and that's it. Now we are finished. I will save the Excel file. We can close it and now I can click on upload. Then click on Browse and in the Download section select your template, click on Open and then on Upload. Now you can see our Excel file was uploaded successfully. If we made big mistakes in our Excel file, for instance we did not fill mandatory fields, then the system will even hinder us from uploading this file and informing us why we can't upload it. However, as you can see, I could upload it successfully. Also it's not possible to upload another file. As you can see, if I click on upload, then it says you must clear your work list before you can upload a new file. So I would need to process this work list over here 
and clear it so that the worklist is empty before I can upload my next Excel file. Let's now select our Excel file and let's check it first via this button. The system informs us that this checking might take some time, so it generated a job in the background. We can click on View Application Jobs, click on Go, and now you can see our job is finished and we see a big X, so there's an error. Let's inspect this one. And as we can see, posting is only possible with a zero balance correctly document. I provoked this error because as you remember, on the customer side, I said the gross amount is 1,100 and on the revenue line item, I said that the amount is 1,000. So there is a balance of 100 as of now. Now the question remains how we can correct this error. There are two options. Let's go back and back again. We can either select our uploaded Excel file, delete it, then correct the Excel file and upload it again. Or we can also click on this arrow over here to inspect the details. So from here we could directly edit our uploaded open items. Let's go to the edit mode. Let me just minimize it a bit. Here you can see all the information we included in our Excel file, including our gross invoice amount. And then on the line item level, you can see the gross amount is 1000, which is not correct. I will change it to 1100. Also from here, you could see we could create many more jail account line items, as well as include payment information, further details that I have shown you also in the Excel file, like our reference information or tax information. And over here, the log that we generated before is also being displayed. Now I click on save. You can see the customer open item was saved. We go back and now we can click on check again. Let's view the application job. Click on go. And now you can see the job was finished successfully. We can even click on the log and we can see number of documents ready for posting is one. So we can post. Let's go back and back. You can see the status is also now ready for posting. We can select this one and from here we can now click on post. You can see the posting is also done in the background job. Let's again click on view application jobs, click on go and the item was posted successfully. Let's inspect the log. Here we can see the journal entry that was posted and if we copy this journal entry and then navigate to the application called manage journal entries Let's hit on search and now we click on manage journal entries new version. We insert our journal entry and hit on go. And here you can see the journal entry that we created before. I will explain you more about the new manage journal entry application in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. If you like this content, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.